Hey friends, it's Trayton with World's Greatest Kiting. They say that if you're gonna you're gonna pass away, you want to do it in in a place that you love or doing something you love. And unfortunately, yellow sunglasses had a fatal accident, but it was on the kite flying field, a place where they love to be. But in celebration of the recent holiday of Easter, we're gonna resurrect these today. On this episode of World's Greatest Guiding. Well, all the pieces were here. I don't know how it happened, but it was nicely placed on a table. Probably got sat on or something, but it was coming. I mean, they're they're just plastic glasses. I'm gonna try two different sets of glue and see which one works the best. For these glasses, I'm gonna try the liquid super glue. It's a Scotch brand. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work. I've never used it. Let's try it out. I don't want to get this all over this magazine here. Okay. It's a little bit. I did read the instructions. What little there are. It's supposed to take like 15 seconds. Cool. Cool. Resurrect. Next. Now these. Uh, Costas. These are pretty good sunglasses. These are Chuck sunglasses. They're broke. So let's, let's try one side with this Scotch super glue liquid. Just a little bit. And then we're going to try this Gorilla Glue gel. Never used this stuff before. Same thing. Don't want to put too much on there. I'm not sponsored by any of these two two companies, but hey, if you're out there, job, they're both stock fixed, done. These guys, <coughs> strong enough, perfect. Perfect yellow sunglasses. Almost perfect. Hey, you guys might have noticed here what I was working on. This is this is the last the last episode of Kiting Magazine, the AKA, the American Kite Flyers Association publication. I've told you guys about this before. There's some really rad articles in here, some pictures of things you've seen video of recently. I won't show you too much, but this is an award-winning kite that's right on the back. Some of you guys have seen this in an old video from the AKA convention in Ocean City. And I always say you never know who you're gonna run into at these events. I'm here in Louisiana and check it out. Right here behind me is the creator of this kite, Alan. Check it out. And he's got the kite right here. And this is not it. You're gonna you're gonna learn how this came to fruition. And a little bit about this kite here in just a second. Guys this is Alan Blue and we're gonna talk about it. You're gonna find out a little bit more about this but Tell me, what inspired this exactly? What was your inspiration for this kite? Well, my wife has always been a big Disney fan, and she was talking about taking the grandkids to Disney last year. So I'm thinking, you know, what better subject matter than a, a, a Disney character? And the wizard from Fantasia, uh, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, rather, has always been one of my favorite Disney things. And a uh, fabulous movie. So I, I looked around, and I found some images and I changed some things around to, to suit me a little bit better and uh, I called this once upon a time and this is sort of my ode to Walt uh, not necessarily what the Disney company is now but what it was back at the time which was all about uh, creativity and pushing limits and breaking the norm and uh, I ran into some of that on this particular kite. I used some uh, techniques that I hadn't used before and I had to make up some new ways of doing some things. And, and so I learned a lot through, throughout building this kite. Cool. Well, you know, the movie Fantasia sounds a lot like Fantasia, which some of you may know is the name of my kite van, which is Craig still behind that, that oh, yeah. kite? Craig. Back Craig. You guys don't know him yet, but Craig here, <laughs> being so kind and holding this kite, he has a really cool kite van that hopefully 
going to show us later oh, on. Oh, it's a mess. Inside. Well, I'll give you a few minutes to, to deal with it. But there's not only one Craig. Do you know that there's two Craigs with Sprinter vans that are kite vans? I didn't know that. Well, now you, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> hey, thanks for talking to us, Alan. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Enjoyed it. All right. Let's fly some kites. Let's do that. Do you know what some of my favorite kites are? Trash kites, ones you find in the trash because most of the time there's nothing wrong with them, like this guy. And, a little dusty, you know, might be a little dusty. A little dust on the kite, but the kite's still good. Something like that. A little windy for it, but it's still flying. A couple adjustments, we'll get it going good. Stopping at this place here, I think that it's going to be the best, and what do you think I got? Of course I did. I got the Ghetto Burger. It was suggested to me. I'm going to try it out. Oh man, this is the Ghetto Burger. Oh yeah. Thanks. Barbecue sauce all over it. It's really good. Thanks for joining me today again, friends. Gonna finish up with some editing so you can watch more videos. Until then, happy flying. <laughs>